some people really understand the fact that it is not easy to actually take all their questions this particular question has been coming from one particular individual and i have not been able to answer it but immediately i saw the way he dropped the last question the last time he dropped it i was like i have to make this video for this individual um the name written here is john onuche he said nice one was messy it's not easy working taking care of the family and also having time to research and lecture with your followers he understand he said i guess you are yet to gather more information on rexos negative bg right seems to be a very good hard topic to discuss take your time and do justice to it thank you happy new month so i promised this person i was going to make the video on it he understand that it's not easy a lot of time is being invested into this good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be an answering this particular subscriber's question today, John um, Anuche. If you know you've, you are watching this video, I would appreciate if you drop the comments down. Um, I'm going to be answering the question. I'm going to be talking about Rexos disease, what this Rexos factor is all about. I'm going to be explaining it so you have a better understanding of it. So if you are a mother and you are planning to get pregnant, I think this video is for you, especially mothers that are Rexos negative. This video is greatly for you. Um, before we go into details, if you are new on our YouTube channel, if this is your first time on our YouTube channel, please click on that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nurse Miss Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be talking about Rexos disease. What is this Rexos disease that we keep hearing about? Rexos disease is a condition whereby or where the antibodies in a pregnant woman fight or destroys the blood cells in the baby, destroys the blood cells in the fetus. Let me tell you something. When you hear of anti-cults, what comes to your mind is that this set of people, they are fighting cultism. When you hear of antichrist, this set of people are fighting against Christ. When you hear of antibodies, this set of things are fighting against the body. So when antibodies that are present in a pregnant woman start fighting against or start destroying the blood cells of our baby, of the fetus, we say that Rexus disease is taking place. And also, this Rexus disease is also known as hemolytic disease of the fetus or of the newborn or hemolytic disease of the newborn this disease does not harm the mother it is the baby that is being affected the mother is left on harm the mother is doing fine but the baby might end up going down with jaundice and some other complications that are likely going to arise i'm going to tell you what causes this rexus disease all right now let's talk about the causes but before I go into the causes proper, if you are a woman, you are A negative, B negative, AB negative, or O negative, you are anything, you have the Rexos negative, like it's negative, it's not positive, the Rexos factor is not there, so it's negative. Please and please, if your midwife or your doctors are not aware, kindly speak to them about it. Generally, um, this examination, your blood group examination is part of your antenatal routine. So your midwife, so your doctors, they know that, oh, this woman is A negative, is B negative. This woman is Rexus negative. So we know what to do. Because if you are negative, you don't have the Rexus factor. What happens is that they give you some anti-D immunoglobulin. This anti-D immunoglobulin will help to protect your future babies. It will help to prevent this sensitization that will cause what? That will cause this Rexus disease. Disease. So in terms of this Rexus disease, these days is not common because of this anti-D immunoglobulin that is being given to prevent the whole sensitization from happening. Now, let me tell you what is happening in terms of the Rexus disease. For example, I am A negative or I am I, I, and I'm Rexus negative. I don't have the Rexus, I don't have the Rexus in me. So I'm Rexus negative, but I got married to a Rexus positive husband. So the baby inside my womb the baby inside her womb is rexus positive you get the baby inside her womb is rexus positive during the first pregnancy nothing is going to happen the baby is going to be fine 
You get during the process of delivering, the woman has delivered. What happened is that the body that's me as a woman or her as a woman sees that red source positive as something that is dangerous, sees that red source positive as a threat. So, what happened is that the woman's body, it, let me use myself as an example, my body will not build antibodies, my body will not build soldiers, my body will not build teams that will fight any positive things that's any red source positive that is coming again because my body is seeing that as a threat is seeing that as something that is not good for me seeing that as something entirely so my body will not um, develop that antibodies like okay when the next baby is coming we will attack i don't know if i'm making sense now so that phase baby we go like now that the body is being sensitized if you don't take that anti-d immunoglobulin the body is not sensitized the antibodies are not built up so in the next baby, the next pregnancy, if the baby is still rex source positive, that soldiers that were built during the first pregnancy, that antibodies that were built during the first pregnancy will now affect this baby in the womb. You get now, we now start destroying the blood cells in this new baby. We now start affecting this baby. And if care is not taken, it might lead to still wet. And if this baby is born, there are a lot of complications can take place. This baby may, may be having jaundice, may require blood transfusion, may be admitted in neonatal intensive care units. It all depends on the severity, how severe it is. So to actually prevent it, to actually prevent this from occurring at all, if you are rexus negative, it is advisable you speak with your healthcare provider so they give you this anti the immunoglobulin because this is going to help prevent desensitization at the very first pregnancy, at the very first phase. So if you know your body has been already been sensitized, you know, okay, this ha ha happened, you are negative, um, you are rexus negative, and you've given birth before, and you feel your body has already been sensitized, please, yes, please, let your healthcare provider know so that they'll be able to know how to monitor this pregnancy. If possible, if you have a miscarriages before, you've been pregnant before, let your healthcare provider know so that they'll be able to manage this baby during the process of pregnancy and delivery so for you that have been asking about the rexus disease i hope you understand how it works it's simply um the presence of a rexus factor which is rexus positive or the absence of a rexus factor which is rexus negative the fact is the first pregnancy sensitization is being taken antibodies are being formed soldiers are being formed that are going to fight future pregnancies if care is not taken and as i earlier said in the definition the Antibodies in the mother is destroying the blood cells of the baby and is also known as the hemolytic disease of a newborn and fetus. So take note of that for all the rexus negative mothers, kindly speak with your doctor. If you are a pregnant woman, please and please, it's advisable to do your blood group. If you don't know your blood group, it's advisable for your midwives, your health care professionals to do your blood screening generally. I know in some community health care centers in Africa and some on um, the developed country, you find you find it difficult to do all this. But please and please, it's advisable you know all this because that is going to help you and also your future pregnancies and babies. For those that have done abortion in the past, for those that have had babies in the past that have died or stillbirth, please and please, they are also they, those that that also count. Please see your doc, like let them know that sensitization has already taken place. Please speak with your doctor. Let them. No, let them have an idea of it because this anti d immunoglobulin, if it has not been sensitized, we hope to prevent the whole Rexus disease. Um, John, I hope this video helped you understand and I hope you've gotten a better understanding of what it is. I go, we all know that prevention, they say, is better than cure. Prevention is better than cure. Please, and please always speak with your healthcare provider because the complications that are likely going to arrive is destroying your baby's blood cells. And you know the blood is very, very important. You know blood, like blood flowing through your veins, they are very, very important. Blood is like the fluid of life. It's like the water of life. So just imagine a baby that's born into this world, like having such challenges, having jaundice, having a case where they have to do blood transfusion. Complications can even result in blindness, can even result in vision problem. You don't know what might arise. So please and please don't take that for granted. If you are a rumor, please and please see your doctor. And always speak and be sincere to your health care provider. Don't tell lies to your health care provider because if you do, they will not be able to know the useful intervention to actually 
dish out so thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is not mesmeric saying thank you bye and see you in our next video